Hello everyone, welcome to Chaudhary Data World channel. Today I am here with new video on how to join tables in PySpark data frame. We will be watching in detail that what is join, what all types of join are available into PySpark data frame and how to apply those on some real time data frame. All these we will be watching in this particular video. So let's get started with the video. So very first question comes to anybody's mind that what is event joins. So let me tell you that whenever you are having two different uh, tables or data frame and if you want to merge them on the basis of some particular column suppose uh, first your data frame in front of you you can see right that this data frame it is having id and name into it this particular data frame is having id and age into it when you will be joining that means when you will be merging both of the tables on the basis of this id column so it will come something like this that id name and then age it will come because id is common in both of the column uh, in both of the data frame so you hear one id number one will be mapped with the id number one of the second data frame likewise it will be forming a final data frame which will contain both uh, both is all the three columns that depends on uh, which type of join you are making into the pies part data frame so another question that what all type of joins are available even into the pies part because there are multiple ways to join these both tables that means if we want to suppose keep only rows from this particular table left table not from the right table we want to suppose keep suppose there is some condition in which we want to keep right table uh, rows but not from the left table rows so like this it depends that what should be the behavior of the resulting table basis of which those join types are defined so first and foremost type is inner join so let me show you that uh, inner join is suppose something like this that when you are having both of the data frame in front of you and then in you are taking all the rows which are common in both of the data frame that means this data frame one it is there if this is data frame two you can see that id1 and id2 is only common in both of the data frames 3 is and 4 is not common in each of them so it has just taken up id number 1 id number 2 and mapped it accordingly that whatever the name is id number 1 having name is rohan id number 2 name having wiki so it has taken up like that and then is against that so id number 1 age is 25 id number 2 age is 30 so it has just mapped like that so it was the inner join which is available now a left join i will explain uh, all the concepts we including how to apply them in uh, on real time basis let's go ahead with first inner join so in an inner join you can see that what we are doing we are uh, let me first tell you that we are uh, we are taking up df1 that is data frame 1 in which i am storing the id and the name so there are three data in available into this particular data frame with having two columns into it that is id and name now there is another data frame that is df2 which is having id and then is so there are basically three data into it as well with having column name as id and is so once we are done with that we are showing up showing it up that df1 and df2 dot so it has given you the results that df1 is looking something like this which is having id and name column and three data into it similarly for the df2 it is having id 1 2 4 and is is according to that so this is how our data frame looks like now let's jump to that how to apply each of the joins available into uh, PySpark data frame and how to apply on the code basis so first i have just for demonstration purpose i have taken df1.so again and df2.so another part which we are dealing up with that inner join inner join is nothing which i told you that 
common data you need to put out from df1 and df2 into a output resulting data frame so there i am creating a df underscore inner uh, data frame which is just taking up this particular syntax that means df1 on df1 what we are doing we are using dot join method which is expecting two para uh, basically three parameters that means which data frame should be joined with this df1 so we are going to join df2 correct and on the basis of which particular column it will join so you should provide on equals to id or something else if in another case if you are having some another common data into both of the table that means common uh, a common column into both of the table that means id it is available into first data frame as well id is available into second data frame id as well so on id we are making the join and how we are going to join it so it's the behavior which you need to provide it here that it should be a inner join so how is equals to inner that's it you are good to go to show the data frame whatever the resulting data frame it is seems to be so df inner dot show will show you show up what the data frame that output data frame looks like so here you can see that the common data from both of the data frames it has been pulled out and put it into the output resulting data frame so it is here in front of you now moving ahead with the second one that is the this left date uh, left join it's basically a left join in this left join what it happens that let me go uh, step by step that first i am telling you that how to write exactly the left data uh, left join so it's nothing but similar to that uh, inner join only thing here change is that how equals to left the behavior only you will make it change else each of the parameters and the methods will remain same so once you are done with that you can see here that you are in front of you you are having this df1 which is having one two and three as id with having corresponding names and in this particular one there is id one two and four here you can see that in data frame one it is id three and here in the, it is having id four one and two is common apart from that three and four are not common so when we are making left join what left join will do left join will take all the data from the left table for this particular scenario what is the left table the left table is df1 so it has taken all the data from df1 but not the uncommon data from the df2 uncommon data is 4 right so it is not picking up the data which is having id as 4 it is only taking up the ids whatever available into the df1 and the uh, and common data into the df2 hope you are getting this uh, slight difference between all those joints so the here you can see that one two and three is available with having all the names and an age the third data which is uh, manuj he, it's um, corresponding to this particular id there is no age into this df2 so it has mapped it as null that means it is not able to fix the age from df2 for this particular data hope it is clear to you now moving ahead with another join that is right join direct opposite to the left join whatever we did it for the left table this whatever common data we have taken from the left table this time we, we are taking common data and all the data from the right table and we are making the resulting data frame so here you can see that we are having the first data frame and syntax wise the difference is only on the behavior that is how how equals to right it will be there otherwise everything will remain same as it is coming from the inner join so here you can see that first one is the uh, data frame which is having the third data again as manus and fourth as the uh, miss there is only difference that is id3 is available in df1 id4 is uh, uh, is available in df2 and the resulting data frame we are we can see that this time we need to pick all the data from right data table that means we will be picking all the data from the df2 since it's a right join and 
the common data from the df1 so common data is 1 to correct and data uh, id4 is from the right and since it is the right join so it is taking up the uh, uh, id as 4 but name against it into the f1 is not available that's why it's giving null and age is 40. now moving ahead with another type of join that is full outer join this full outer join is very simple in this particular join you will be taking your data from both of the tables that means df1 and df2 it doesn't depend that what common data it is over there what uncommon data it is over there whatever data it is in available in df1 and df2 it will be taking both of the data and merging into the output resulting table so you can see here that df1 and df2 seems to be like this and the resulting table which will be containing all the ids that means one two three and four and whatever data it will not get corresponding to each other it will map there as null that means in this third id name is available that means name is available as manus but in third id you can't find any is correct so it is giving null there similarly for fourth name is not available so it is giving null there but is is available so it is giving 40 there so this is how full outer join again works only syntax wise changes you need to pass how as full apart from that each of the syntax will remain same coming to the next join and it is the second last join that is left semi and the last join we are having is left end so this left semi you can see that how it is performing syntax wise there again no any change only changes in how uh, parameter where you will be passing left underscore semi that's it now data wise you can see that this is the first data frame again everywhere data frame remains same now the difference here is that it is taking up the data you can see here it is taking up the data from the left table correct from the left table and it is not even taking up the data that is having null value in the left table which was there into the left join if you, you are getting the difference hope show that here when it was left join let me take you to the left join and show you what it was doing it what it was doing it was taking all the data from the left table even if that particular data is not available into the right table then also it was taking all the data from the left table and common data from the right table correct but here what the scenario is it is taking only those data which is common between left and right table and all the columns whatever available into the left so here you can see that id it has fixed up which is having the data available into the a's as well but since there is this is left and semi join that's why it has taken up this particular thing that it has neglected that null value which is in the third data so hope this uh, this thing you got and if you any confusion let me know into the comment section and this particular one df1 dot so and df2 dot so here you can see that this is left end join so it's directly opposite to that left semi join whatever data it left it was left into this particular left table since in left semi join we have taken only those data for which the data was available even into the right table but this time we just want to take opposite of that that means whatever data in the left table corresponding to that if data is not available into the right table those data only will be taken here in in this particular uh, left anti join so you can see that only single data available here that is manos since manos is not having is available into this particular right table that's why it has taken up this particular one that means this is how left anti works and how you will pass as left anti so this these were all the common joins which is getting used and frequently used into by spark data frame you will be using into your projects 
and hope this was very uh, helpful video for you and if you found it helpful kindly like to the video subscribe to the channel and if any confusion let me know into the comment section thank you so much guys for watching the videos stay tuned to the channel for upcoming function and methods in PySpark data frame and how to use them on the syntax basis so see you in the next video guys